Okay, question seven. Um, the string operation, substring, quote, start number, returns a string from, quote, beginning at position start, that is number characters long. The first character in quote is in position one. So um, substring is just the pseudocode that allows us to extract part of some text. So quote, as they say, is the string. <coughs> Excuse me. Start is the starting character within that string, and the first character will be position one. It does say that here. And then number is the number of characters that we want after that start position. So write pseudo statements to first of all store the string learning their results to mind in quote. Extract and display the words the mind from the string and put the original string in lowercase. Okay, so let's go ahead and store the string as the variable quote. So let's say quote assign learning never exhausts the mind. Not sure I agree with that, but it's generally interesting and fun. Okay, so we've done that. Extract and display the words the mind from the string. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new variable and I'm going to store that and then I'm going to output it. So I shall call my variable extract. Why not? And we're going to store, so we're going to take, um, so they've given us the pseudocode for substring, which is very helpful. So we've got substring, quote, so they've told us to store it as the variable quote. So quote is equal to learning and never exhaust the mind. Now we need the start, so we want the mind. And don't forget to count spaces as well. So let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we want to uh, start at position 25. And how many characters do we want? So we want the mind. So including the T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we want 8 characters. That will give us the mind. So it does say extract and display the words the mind. So I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to output extract okay so that's the first two bullet points done we've stored the string in quote we've extracted and displayed the words the mind now it is you could have you could have just written output and then put substring quote 25 comma eight that's fine I've done it this way because it it's probably an easier way to get your head around it if you're not too sure what's going on um, but it doesn't matter as long as, you, as long as we meet those bullet points right. I put the original string in lower case. So um, fortunately, it's quite straightforward. Um, we just need to use another library routine. So if we wanted uppercase, we'd write U case. We want lower case, so you guessed it. We're going to write L case. And in brackets, what are we making lower case? So it's the original string which is quote, I like this question, it's very nice. Right, let's have a look at the mark scheme. So, um, one mark for storing the string in quote, we've done that. Right, so it says marks to correct assignment for start. So if we look at their example, they've actually assigned 25 to, to a variable called start, and they've assigned number to a variable called eight. Um, but what we've actually done is we've actually done the second part here of what's acceptable. We've sent the correct value, the correct start value. So we've actually just put 25 straight in there, whereas they've just used the variable start, which they've defined here. So that's fine. We've sent the correct value. So there's either way. As long as it works, they can't, cannot argue. Right. Um, so we've got, yeah, mark two and mark three. Correct assignment for number as well. Use of substring function with the first parameter as quote or equivalent. So you could have called it something else if you wanted to. Though it does say from the first mark, you must sort in quote. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, plus the other two parameters. So the other parameters are just what we call the things inside the brackets. So um, 25 and 8 are the other two parameters, which we've done. We've used the L case function, which is the pseudocode for um, the Cambridge pseudocode for, for lowercase. 
and we've got the correct two outputs as well. So yeah, we've picked up all the marks. Like so, nice little question, five marks. Let's stop this one and move on to the next one. Thank you very much.